Hello, my name is Nick Miles and welcome to Retail Analysis. I'm here today to talk to you about four of the biggest and most exciting developments that we have seen in the world of grocery retailing in the last few weeks. Firstly, let's head down under to Australia, where Aldi has launched four new trial stores, one in Canberra, one in Brisbane, one in Melbourne and one in Sydney. These stores have a more premium look and feel to them and include things like new in-store bakeries, new layouts with wider ranges of fresh food, improved signage and also new equipment that helps display products better to the shopper. Aldi has seen phenomenal growth in Australia over the last couple of years and last year grew sales by 13%, achieving revenues of 6 billion Australian dollars for the first time. In fact, we see Aldi in Australia as a particularly progressive part of Aldi's broader global operations. It's attracting new customers to its stores every year and it's putting increasing pressure on established retailers like Coles and Woolworths, both of which who have recently released strategic updates which have summarised for your convenience on retail analysis. Secondly, to the world's largest retailer, Walmart, who have released their first quarter results. Overall, a very positive message from Walmart. Sales did decline slightly by 0.1%, but this was mainly due to currency fluctuations. In fact, in its international businesses, sales increased by 3.4% on a local currency basis, with like-for-like -like gains in four of its largest five international markets. In the US, sales grew by 3.5% or 1.1% on a like-for-like -like basis, representing the third consecutive quarter of growth for Walmart. So what does this mean? Well, firstly, Walmart remains committed to driving short-term sales growth, but also balancing longer-term priorities in the US. It will continue to invest in getting the retail basics right in some of its larger format stores, but also investing in smaller stores like its neighborhood market format. We're also starting to see Walmart talk about longer term strategic projects, looking at store layouts and how they range and merchandise their stores in the US. Secondly, broader e-commerce integration. Walmart's global e-commerce sales grew by 17% in the first quarter alone. In the US, traffic to its website from mobile devices doubled and it continued to roll out more extensive trials of its grocery e-commerce service and also click and collect services. Internationally, Walmart intends to accelerate the rollout of grocery e-commerce to all of its international markets, and to aid this, it has set up a dedicated team based in the UK. A few weeks ago, we visited one of Eon's flagship shopping malls in eastern Tokyo. The development is hugely impressive. It covers over 400,000 square metres of retail space, 350 specialist stores, and is divided into four different shopping areas. Why do we like it so much? Well, it highlights some of the best category execution that we have seen around the world. Firstly, excellence in food to go. In the grocery section, the store has a vast array of fresh food to go counters, which are hugely appealing. Secondly, the pet mall. This bright and fun retailing space offers everything a pet owner needs, from specialist food through to pets themselves. Thirdly, the digitally enabled beers, wines and spirits department. A virtual bartender, digital screens and also a touchscreen table that comes to life when you place products on it, provides information to shoppers on things like flavour and also recipe suggestions. If you can't visit Japan, make sure you check out our store visit report on retail analysis. And finally, to some of the latest innovations that we've picked up that retailers are rolling out to try and spice up the in-store retailing experience. At one of Albert Heijn's largest stores in the Netherlands, the retailer has introduced 3D printing technology where shoppers can design their own chocolate bar and have it made instantly in-store. In Tokyo, shoe manufacturer Crocs has actually brought drones into its stores to go and pick up products and deliver them to shoppers to try on. At Google's first physical store in London, customers can design their own Google Doodles using digital spray cans. They can also watch YouTube videos and finally, they can explore the world using Google Earth. This type of cutting edge technology can attract, engage and delight shoppers, helping drive footfall to stores. So what is your business doing in this area? Well, to get up to speed, why don't you come along to our online and digital conference taking place in October later this year in London. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.